Hi there, it's June Simmons with Online Sales Pro, and sorry but I'm really stepped up. <laughs> I'm having a hard time breathing. Anyways, um, tonight is my night 68 of the Vincent Ortega Jr. 100 Day Video Challenge, and oh, I'm sorry, and it's uh, 3 o'clock in the morning, I just got off work, so... This is going to be kind of a short one, but anyways, it's um, day 18 of the Facebook training, and we're going to, um, I'm going to take off where we left off last night, that's on language, geo connection, geo connections, and targeting, oh my gosh, uh, powerful new targeting features allow businesses to select. The users who receive their ads based on language, gender, workplace, geographic, location, education, level, age, oh, sorry, relationship status, and even profile keywords. Targeted ads could also be shown to all users who are connected with the business page or ads on Facebook. This expansion allowed advertisers to stretch their advertising budget while still making ads meaningful. So the next one is 2012 ads in Newsfeed. Facebook includes included the ability to place ads in Newsfeeds for people who are already connected to businesses through Facebook pages. These ads were less formal and more personal and designed to be a natural part of the newsfeed experience. Non-connected page post ads. This update to ads and newsfeeds allowed advertisers to share ads with anyone they wanted to target, including those who weren't ready, who weren't already connected to their brand. A like button was <coughs> included on the ad so that people could instantly connect with brands and businesses that interested them. Custom audiences. Custom audiences was a powerful tool that Facebook released in 2012. Power editor users could upload bulk data like emails. <gasps> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. user IDs or phone numbers and create a targeted custom audience. This allowed advertisers to connect on Facebook with data collected outside of Facebook and continues to be a driver for successfully targeted campaigns on Facebook even today. In 2013, partner, I just got a message, sorry, partner categories. Facebook introduced partner categories in 2013, which allowed advertisers to target the right people based on their activity off of Facebook. For example, car companies could use oh, goodness, car companies could use offline data from third-party. The data providers to target people whose actions indicated that they may be shopping for a new car. A new car. Okay. So there's a massive shift to mobile. Learn how people are consuming information even faster with a massive shift to mobile. And I'm, that's where we're going to go tomorrow. Because I'm just so tired, you guys, but I just didn't want to miss it. And so, I don't have to work tomorrow. And so, I'll get it done in a better hour, and uh, maybe won't be so stuffed up when we do it. So, thank you so much for watching and listening, and I'll be back tomorrow for day 69 of the Vincent Ortega Jr. 100 Day Video Challenge. Have a great night.